Welcome to Bike Flow. My name is Marcus and this is where we cycle the world. We are right now three kilometers south of Yellowstone and this is the Snake River going through here and these mountains back here are the Tetons. The camp spot I'm staying at is just perfect. If you go to Yellowstone, it's by the south entrance. We end the week at this place and up until here we cycled with Mr. Frenchie. But our first day was not this beautiful, so we need to back up a bit. Roman from France is cycling from Los Angeles and makes a six month loop over the west of the United States and Canada. We crossed paths back in Jeffrey City and we spent four days together. Our first day we got in the worst hailstorm I've experienced so far. It was like being shot with a paintball gun. Eventually we reached Lander, where I'm lucky to have gotten in contact with a host through warm showers. I got to do some laundry and I knew the good weather was waiting for me. My host Jerome served me fresh caught trout the night before and in the morning he made me an omelette tortilla before I took off. Leaving Lander and meeting up with Frenchie. Mr. Frenchie! Good morning! Good morning! How are you feeling? Good, and you? I'm good! It's good. Nice to see you! Come here! <laughs> Look good! <laughs> we head on to the Wind River Indian Reservation and I show off my dance moves for Mr. Frenchie! Many are those who have warned us about the winds of Wyoming, but we sure are in luck because we didn't have any wind at all. I've never thought of sitting on my own bags up until now, but from here on I don't have to look for a place anymore. The things you learn while touring. Even though we don't have any wind right now, we know it might pick up, so we need to get out of here as soon as possible. There are no trees to give cover anywhere, so highways are the only option for us. The Wyoming winds. Which I haven't seen any. We turn into a rest stop to fill up our water bottles. I'm not gonna show you this. <laughs> I know you would love to, but I'm not. National Weather Service? Press. I'm pressing. On our way to Dubois, we pass Quahart Buttes. In 1866, a battle between the Shoshone and Bannock Indians on one side and the Crow Indians on the other was fought here. The chief of the Shoshones displayed the Crow chief heart on a lance after the battle, hence the name of the Buttes. We spent the entire day on the Wind River Reservation. The river on our right is the Wind River, a very, very creative naming of this river. Frenchie stops for a piss and I film him without his consent. He's not pissing into the wind, but it picks up as we pedal on. We are on the Trans-American route, a famous cycling route, and the people of Dubois two times flip me off as I enter the city. I guess they're tired of cyclists roaming around the streets. We made it to the St. Thomas Church office and uh, welcome cyclists and hikers. It's Monday today, so the office is closed. Romain had to walk to the bar down here because everything in this town is closed on Mondays. And then he got a hold of somebody and they're gonna come open this baby up for us so we can stay in here. This is how much up we did today. This is how far we went today. We went far as hell. Wind in our face. But you would never said you've been in Wyoming unless you had wind, baby. This is an old jail. And now it's a bike jail because we leave our bikes here and then we're staying at this church over here. Oh. I guess this is a cell. Huh. It's pretty cool. The church where we're staying. Very nice. We can have a conference if we want to. It's all for us. We're going to grab it all. I will look at this. Please use as needed or add as to as or add to as able. I don't know that English. And the bathroom. Please don't put anything extra in the toilet. Including flushable wipes. Okay. Cool. It's 20 minutes to 8. I need to sleep. Leaving the church. 
kicked out in the morning at six o'clock and I haven't had breakfast. I'm a hungry crybaby. Good morning. Thank you. It's a very nice town this. And it wakes up with a rooster. Frenchy just reminded me it's very strange that a town of 900 and something people have over seven churches. Since I didn't eat breakfast before leaving the church at 6 a.m., I have to have it in a small park. I probably slept on average four and a half, five hours, four nights in a row. And today we climb. What do you like the sign? Bears near highway, do not approach, stay in vehicle. Oh, we were just in vehicle. Spray, <laughs> bear spray. The bears just go out of hibernation and we're cycling in their country. They're hungry, they have kids. We're so gonna lube ourselves up with the bear spray to make us taste a little bit spicy. <laughs> Food storage required, we are fucked. <laughs> we are so fucking fucked. Merde! Wow. <laughs> We're heading into serious bear country, both black and grizzlies. With the exotic animals comes the exotic views though. Whenever we can, we enjoy the views and we ponder philosophy. Today's climb is only 900 meters, elevation up, but consistent and took us almost three hours to complete. I need to poop and we've hopefully done the summit. It's very beautiful here. Oh. I'm so done. Oh. I don't know. Very, very done. Don't forget to sleep and stay hydrated. And take a poop in the morning because right now there's no way to poop. So we're not happy anymore. <laughs> okay. Six degrees, next 17 miles. Yes. This is what we want. Oh yes. Going downhill is the best feeling in the world, especially when you know it's gonna last you for over 20 minutes. We're aiming for the Tetons, a mountain range that shoots out of flat surroundings. They differ from most mountains in the Rockies since their shape are at a much steeper angle. By the side of the road, we encounter, 20 meters away from us, a brown black bear. Yeah, it is a black bear. Most people don't think so because it's brown, but it does not have the distinct hump of that of a grizzly and its ears and nose are different. Finally, we see the Tetons in all their glory. Mr. Frenchy, who does a lot of mountaineering, almost gets off to these mountains. He's been waiting for them since he took his first pedal stroke in the United States. At the bottom of the hill, there's a campsite. At $6 total for both of us, it was an easy decision to make. We pitch our tents and pump up our mattresses and get cooking. We plan our coming separate days through Yellowstone since Mr. Frenchy carries a map of everything. As soon as we're done with eating, we have to store our food in these bare secure boxes, as well as our toothpaste, deodorant and beard wax. Romain upgrades the evening with some much appreciated hot chocolate before we go to bed. Today is me and Mr. Frenchy's last day. Mr. Frenchy just had a little bit of a flat tire, but now he pumped it up. And I was enjoying watching him because he was sweating his ass off. We go to Grand Teton National Park, do you see that? Except from the electric poles, it's very, very beautiful. Station closed, please proceed. We both bought the annual America the Beautiful Pass for 80 bucks and I haven't shown it once. <laughs> I've been to five national parks and I haven't shown it once. Frenchy is going the other way and we are once again Hello. I started listening to music and then I realized as soon as I got closer to the woods, I'm like, not very smart. Not very smart, is it? I mean, it's very close to wildlife here. Extremely.
A good thing about national parks in the US is that you can fill up your water just about everywhere, so you don't have to carry that much. We'll see if we can find a camping spot here. As cheap as possible. They have camping in here, but it's 40 bucks. They told me that I could go on this road down to something called Grassy Lake, half a mile. Three people told me, be very careful. A black bear with her cubs was seen here two days ago, and a grizzly with her cubs was seen this morning. Nice. It's crazy, but it's cool. I have the bear spray ready to go right there. Very close to me. I don't like bears. <laughs> Especially not moms with cubs. No people travel here. I'm alone. Very nice. Very, very nice. You should not carry food with you while going through the area. Well, there's something called survival where you have to eat. I so want to see a grizzly, but I don't want to see a mom with her cubs. I don't. I really, really, really don't. This is so awesome. They have bear uh, canisters, so uh, we're gonna put our food far away from us, but we don't have to hang it in a tree, baby. <laughs> and we're all alone. Amaze balls. We arrived to the place where we'll put up camp. There are 13 other campgrounds like this one in the area, and they're all on BLM land, which means free of charge. Thank you so much for watching the video. We are right now in Yellowstone and it's snowing. It's the beginning of June. It's always snowing everywhere I go. I don't understand this anymore. Encountering the black bear at 20 meters was quite intimidating. I, I really enjoyed it, but my question to you guys is, have you ever encountered a black bear? Because when I saw it, I was like, whoa, I need to film it. And then I realized maybe I'm a bit too close. I need to move on. Have you encountered a black bear? Any bear at all? Any wildlife that ever scared the heck out of you? Please write in the comments. I'd love to know because <laughs> where I'm going, there are more of this kind of stuff. Now we have started releasing videos on Sundays as well. They will be different. Every video will be different. <laughs> of course it will, it's a new video. Share the video if you enjoyed it. Show it to your mom. Hey mom, I saw this. You really cute guy. Now I'm gonna dance around in the snow. No, I'm not gonna dance around in the snow. I'm gonna go inside because it's cold. Thanks again. See you next week. Skidoo.